Uh, I'd like to welcome you back to Landarcy where we're going to interview two of our new arrivals to give you a bit of an insight about what they're going to bring to us this year. And it's a warm welcome to Tito Tibaldi from uh, everyone at the Ospreys. Tito, you've been here a few weeks now. How are you settling in? I understand you're living in sight of the Liberty Stadium as well. Yeah, 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 very close. Very close to the Liberty Stadium. I know, I'm, I hope to, to go into the stadium for play. In the, uh, so I stay on the first 15 at the walk with my bag, uh, very easy. What do, you, what do you think of Swansea? Have you managed to explore yet? Yeah, I know very well only the main street now, Wind Street. <laughs> you, you know very well too, no? So, no, uh, yeah, I've been uh, in the centre uh, at work because uh, Ospreys don't give me the car. Uh, they want uh, I improve my muscle, uh, my legs muscles. So <laughs> I work a lot. Good stuff. So why did you decide to leave Italy and sign for the Ospreys? I, it's a great uh, chance uh, for me. It's the chance uh, I wait uh, for every life. So for improve, for live uh, the the real rugby. Played against the Ospreys a few times for Aroni and Zebra, yeah. so you know all about the Ospreys and the players we have in the squad. Are you looking forward to the new season with your new team? Obviously, uh, every time uh, we was very close to beat uh, to beat you a couple of times. No, but I think uh, is uh, from when I start to play on uh, Celtic League, uh, one of the, the team I preferred for the play for the mentality. Uh, obviously, absolutely better than uh, other than Alster, for example. Very physical, a lot of foreigner. I don't like that uh, idea. I prefer like obviously Ospreys or Leinster, for example. Uh, fast play, very smart. Uh, so appreciate again to be here. Yeah. Brilliant. So, uh, what can the supporters expect to see from you? What kind of scrum half? What kind of nine are you? I want to. I want to give. Uh, I want. I enjoy to play, no. So when I'm happy, I want uh, the, the people uh, see me uh, will be happy, no. So as uh, is happy. So I want to give uh, a chance for smile for live uh, the, the match uh, with the happiest. Brilliant. Well. Uh, fantastic! Actually, some really good answers, and you know, we know your, your name is uh, Tito uh, Tibaldi. Uh, yeah. In the UK, we, we have a biscuit called Garibaldi. Um, <laughs> what, what's your favourite biscuit? Is like, you know, people might want to know. The, the biscuit, uh, I don't know. I love uh, cookies. You love cookies? Yeah. yeah, 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 so yeah. From Garibaldi to cookies, that's <laughs> favourite. And, and for the, uh, you know, I've already had numerous texts. Uh, you know, when when you were told that you were you were signing, and uh, a few ladies and a few friends that I know, a few girlfriends were texting. You know. What is the deal with the new scrum half? You know, is he is he engaged? Has he got a wife? Is he is he single? Is he is he going to be strutting his stuff on Wine Street so we can so we can see his moves? Uh, so for the ladies of Swansea, have you got a message? Unfortunately, I'm unfortunately for her. I'm uh, engaged. You're engaged? Okay. Yeah. So there'll be some sad women in Swansea uh, when they hear this, but uh, you know, a, a, a lucky fiance for yourself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I can smile uh, to everybody, no, to the, to the girls, but I'm, I'm good. I'm, I'm done uh, with my girlfriend. <laughs> good, mate, and all the best for the season, buddy. Uh, Love you to see you. Very much. Top man. newest arrival in Australia is Jeff Hassler, who flew in over the weekend. Jeff, how were the first few days been? Oh, they went really well, getting to meet the guys and uh, seeing the facilities out here. Uh, pretty welcoming guys. Good stuff. For supporters, we may not know a great deal about you. You've got an interesting backstory, going from college football, running back to an international winger. Can you tell us a bit more about your background? Uh, yeah, I just grew up playing football uh, from a pretty young age and never really even knew what the sport of rugby was. And high school, uh, Kind of got involved with it, with the uh, gym teacher being a rugby guy. So got involved with it then and kind of followed it through just throughout the summers and 
and end up uh, me playing with a bit of the Canada squad. How excited are you about this opportunity to play professional rugby with the Ospreys? Very excited. Uh, I don't know if there's much more to say, I'm just chomping at the bit. Fantastic. And there'll be a fellow American international arriving in the next week or so. With uh, two, uh, the two of you here, should uh, help you both settle in and bring the best out of each other. Uh, yeah, we're quite good buddies from back home as well. We've uh, gone through the age grades together, so when he gets here, uh, show him the ropes and uh, he'll fit right in as well. Good. As, uh, you know, I was chatting with the boys and you know, uh, we, had, we had Chansey and you know, getting the North Americans and Americans in there. We think you know, not, not just for your playing ability, it's the morale that you bring to the squad is what we're all excited about. Have you got, have you got any nicknames or chants or something like that that, you're, uh, that, you, that you bring with you? I got nothing. No nicknames? No nicknames? No. The Hasselbank? The Hasselhoff? Nothing at all? Just, yeah, Hass. The Hass? Hass. There we are. Yeah. And no, no chance? Are you had any whooping or hollering as you score tries and stuff like that? Have you got a, a signature uh, finishing move and things like that? No, nothing. No? Oh, no. Well, to be seen. Well, yeah. yeah. Well, I hope you settle in, mate, and all the best, and look forward to playing with you this year. Thank you. Stop that. <laughs>